The HLB handicap chase is next. There's a three mile nought to 140. And we've got Japanese Blonde at the top for Leon Van Rensburg, Master of Shadows, Joshua Sutherland, Square DJ, David Robertson, Viking Scene, John Morgan, Bridge Cape, Darren Thompson, Nashville Ridley, Vinnie Gerard, Armageddon, Martin Leedham, Xenophon Croy, James Shea, October Cat, Graham Clitterbuck, What a Sunrise, Craig Beckwith, Military and Slain, Thomas Rogers, Hobson's Choice, Kevin Meenahan, Quality Queen and Donut for Stu Gray and Maximum Mayhem for Alex Cherry. So 15 and good sized field for this one. First big field of the day for me. And away we go. And Viking scene for John Morgan, the first one to hit the front. The rider over on the far side, Denitz. One of the two, Stu Gray. Horses over their second run. Towards the back of the field, Square DJ is the early back marker. They've got 18 fences to take in this one. And Viking scene is not hanging about. And it's quickly gone six lengths clear. Of Xenophon Croy in second. And then October Cat third. In Hobson's Choice down on this near side with also the other Stu Grey Horse Quality Queen. As they finally get to the first. And they're all safely over it with Japanese Blonde, the top weight, just a back marker. Over the second they go. And there's a fall there. What a sunrise has gone. And also down on its nose was. Um, I think it was either Xenophon, Croy or Moletri and Sloan. I'm not sure which one of the two it was as they take this ditch. And all safely over that one. As they make their way down towards the railway fences. Then their Viking scene is in the lead. By about six lengths. So Master of Shadows is moved through in a second. Then comes October Cat and Moletri and Sloan. So it was probably Xenophon and Croy that made the mistake as they get to the fourth. Which they're all safely over Armageddon slow at the back. There's the second of the railways, are also for over that one, and then the third one. And again, Xenophon Crawl was a bit untidy. But with the exception of Water Sunrise, the rest of them are all still on their feet as they make their way towards the pond fence with Viking Scene. So, a good pace, clearing the lead by six lengths to Master of Shadows in second. While Etrian Slane has gone through into third. Then comes October Cat and Xenophon Croy. With Hobson's Choice and Square DJ, then Donuts and Maximum Mayhem. Nashville Ridley next, Quality Queen on the inside of Bridge Cape. And then finally Japanese Blonde and Armageddon at the back as they take the seventh. And the way down towards the next, which is a ditch. Viking scene. In the lead, it's not a ditch at all, it's a plain one. The ditch is the next one. I'm a fence ahead of myself again, but it's Viking scene still in the lead. This is the ditch, it'll be the last one next time round. All safely over that one, although Japanese blonde is really struggling at the back under this big weight. And whether that one goes out for the final circuit or not remains to be seen. But they come up past the winning post, then and they'll swing. Right handed shortly, and you can see just how far Japanese Blonde is behind the rest of them. But Viking Scene is five or six lengths clear of Xenophon Croy in second. Master Shadows on the inside of October Cat, and then Miletri and Slayers with change angles. You can see Armageddon at the back of the main group, and the lead for Viking Scene is now down to a little more than three. Well, October Cat in second, then Xenophon Croy and Miletri and Slane. With Master of Shadows on the inside, Hobson's Choice, Maximum Mayhem, Quality Queen. Some of these newcomers are running a pretty decent race at the moment. Japanese Blonde appears to be still going. Be an absolute miracle if it won from there, though. And Viking Scene in the lead. From October Cat. Xenophon Croy and Hobson's Choice and Miletri and Slain as they get to the next. This is the quick double. Stiff test of jumping sand down. They get over that next one okay as well. Now they'll race away towards the ditch and then it'll be onto the railways again. And there's Japanese Blonde still going around at the back. Over it they all go. It's strange to see a little one wins with all that far behind. Even if it has got top weight. Uh, Viking scene now almost being joined by Xenophon and Croy as they come down to the railways. And they take these will make a big difference to the end of the race, I would think. 
And this Viking scene in front, Xenophon Croy second, Denitz were in a massive race on the outside as they take the first of the three, they all jumped it nicely, they all jumped the second nicely as well, you can see the rest of them are getting into the third, while oh, Japanese Blonde was still taking the second, and Armageddon's also struggling at the back as well, but it's Xenophon Croy who's now come through to challenge for the lead, and look at this Denitz around the outside, going exceptionally well, Hobson's Choice is in fourth, then after that one comes Master of Shadows and Quality Queen October. Cat's just lost his place a little bit. So too is my Electrian Slain and Denitz has now come through the challenge for the lead as they come towards the pond fence. But Viking Scene fights back and gets back into the lead again. It's Viking Scene going back on Denitz in second. Over the pond they go. Denitz jumped in really well in second, but Viking Scene is still the leader. Viking Scene now suddenly gone three clear. Here comes Bridged Cape, who's hardly had a mention so far. Moved through in a second. Then comes Hobson's Choice and Master of Shadows. Xenophon Croy is next. They've got two more fences to take. And they race down towards the second last. And over that, Viking Scene landing in the lead from Hobson's Choice in second. Xenophon Croy now getting back into it. Here comes Master of Shadows. Armageddon flying on the outside as they get over the final ditch. And it's Viking Scene still in the lead, being pressed by Master of Shadows and Xenophon Croy. And Master of Shadows takes it. Up. Armageddon's trying to finish well. Xenophon Croy is going now. Xenophon Croy pokes his head in front, and Xenophon Croy is going to take it. Xenophon Croy just from Master of Shadows and Armageddon. Long time leader Viking Sing back in fourth. And I dare say the majority of these will line up in the JLT at Cheltenham. That was Xenophon Croy taking it for James Shea. Master of Shadows for Joshua Sutherland second, Armageddon for Martin Leedham third, Viking Scene for John Morgan fourth, and Bridged Cape for Darren Thompson was fifth.